testing. Hey guys, welcome back. This is my February blog. So for February, I did a staycation at George Truly and I'm gonna take you guys through my entire weekend. I'm gonna do a, a review. Okay, this guy was looking at me. It was like very, very crazy. Take 77. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm doing a staycation at George Truly in Washington, D.C. This will be my February vlog. And as you guys know, 2022 is dedicated to self-care, giving yourself grace and allowing things to come with you with ease. So with that said, this is my very first staycation as an adult. Yes, your girl's out here adulting. I'm treating myself how I want to be treated. And I think the important thing is just to manifest how you want people to treat you. Like you gotta be good to yourself first before anybody else can be good to you. And I want you guys to stay tuned for my entire weekend. They have Mercy Me, the restaurant. They have a coffee bar called Call Your Mother Bow. Y'all know I love coffee. So yeah, I'm excited. This is my room for the next two days. Three things I absolutely love about my room at yours truly. I love that it's modern, simple, and the art reminds me of the 70s. I also love the size of the bed and y'all, it is so fucking comfortable, okay? And lastly, the bathroom. The rainfall shower head really sets it off. So if you got a little bay or even a little staycation, it's cool, but you really gonna enjoy the shower. Details. How about now? I gotta back all the way back here up here. Well, listen, I don't really know how I'm supposed to, um, yeah, I think that's the tall, tall that it goes. How about right now? Well, I guess I'll just talk to y'all right here. But yeah, a couple weeks ago, I did a photo shoot because like I said, I'm, I'm branding mini skirt merch. So I was about branding and marketing and just making sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to do to get myself to the next level. So I did this shoot a couple weeks ago, still haven't gone through the raw images to send back to the photographer to edit. So that's one of the things that I'm going to do. And then I'm also going to get online for work, look at the pictures, pay some bills, write, journal, manifest. I'm, gonna be, I'm, gonna, I'm going to be multitasking to cross some things off my list that I need to do today while I'm in a different space. So I hope the energy flows a little better and things just come to me with ease and I just cross things off my list, go to dinner later, be cute with my friends. That's pretty much it. Relax, get shit done, but just nice, peaceful, 
tranquil vibes. All right, back to settling in, okay? See, I get distracted easy. These are cute. They gave us some little slippers um, because the floors are mostly concrete. These are cute though. These big ass floppy ass joints. It was truly like yeah. a touch. For my tripod to so get cautious. Now I'm about to do some work and chill and listen to some music and vibe. And then hopefully in like an hour, I will go work out. So I'll be back if I can make it to the gym before dinner. We shall see. Okay, hey guys, quick check-in. I'm running fucking late per usual. Um, didn't make it to the gym, did get some work done. Now I'm about to get dressed to go meet my friends for dinner. It's 7.04 and I have to be there at 8. Okay, so we'll check back in. I gotta make this speedy and I'll be back. Two hours later. Tell the camera how you mad at me for being late. I'm sorry. This is my, my vlog, my staycation. I don't want to be holding the baby oh, okay. if, they don't, if, they don't, if they don't want me to hold the baby. Unfortunately, your time management is ass. <laughs> I just want you to know. I'm so sorry. Boss lady on military sorry. time. I am, because that's all I can be. Time is money. Hello there. Hi. I'm helping to do the aunt. <laughs> the, the sexy aunt. Yes. This is the camera. <laughs> Hey girl! Hey Lynn! Cutie patootie! She says she dances. She eats rice. Dance with pockets to put a girl that she wants. That's what it is. Okay, y'all, I'm trying to get this thing together here. I could just have y'all record me. Why am I doing this? So, are you enjoying your staycations? I'm fucking loving it. Okay, I, I recommend staycations for all my friends. Because sometimes you need to get the fuck away from people. Okay? I need mean, motherfuckers. Where you at? Mind my business. Next time I want to do a staycation in New York. So, what made you want to do this one? Um, because at first my, my goal for this year is like self care and letting shit come to me with ease and not be forcing it. And the other reason we get my household to get on the fucking house. <laughs> a, little, a little combo. Hey, Kiana. Kiana's a staycation pro. What's your What do you do on your staycation? Sleep. Eat. Uh huh. Everything under the sun. Relaxation. Now, do you invite people over to your staycation? <laughs> That's your it's time. Like I do like two days by myself. I sleep at the hotel, the spa, or whatever. Then, like after that second day, depending on the city I'm in, I go with all my friends to meet up with them. Yes, local honey. This is my first one. I didn't have any guests. First of many. First of many. I know. Actually, I'm gonna do a little review on the hotel too. Yours truly. Everybody hears the name Yours truly. Now, like, what's that? It's a hotel. <laughs> I'm gonna do Eat Hotel next. 
Okay, so now I'm out to eat with my girls. That's a part of self care too. What was the name of the restaurant? Oku. We're at Oku in Union Market. Popping bottles. <laughs> Literally drinking our water. Uh-huh. Oh, me. I'm here. I got you right here. Hey friend. Hey guys. These two haven't seen each other, but buddies haven't seen each other in a while. That's my girl too. That's my dog. Period. I can't bottle for me. But yeah, stay tuned for the food and my drink that I'm still waiting on. <laughs> It couldn't be done, but Jasmine did. Jasmine did the unthinkable. I got the juice. I got the juice. <laughs> Look who's joined the party. Look who's joined the party. Look who's joined the party. She is out over there. It's trying to turn up. Auntie's daycare is in full commencement. Oh shit. Your neck hurt a little bit. Uh oh. Oh, 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 <laughs> Where she get that big head from? I see you talking shit over there. <laughs> now the night's coming to an end. Auntie Daycare has to take her child in the house. <laughs> Are we continuing our night? We can. I'm already out. Fucking with you, I end up in the Sims game. It's like, wow. I'm not putting you in the Sims game. No, a different one. Okay, guys, so girls' night was real cute. We went to Oku and um, Union Market. Um, as you can see, I am always a late friend. Like I said, no matter how much I try to be on time i'm always fucking late but overall we had a great time the vibes were definitely cool we kiki with the girls jasmine you know was the baby whisperer put the baby to sleep and it was just a real cute night like i'm all about vibes and just laughing and cherishing whoo my head itch. feels so good right there and just cherishing moments with your loved ones so yeah right now i'm about to go to a hookah spot smoke a little hookah with my girl jaleesa and just chill but at this point the camera not gonna come with me because y'all seen enough of my life um and then i'm gonna go back to yours truly and um i would definitely vlog uh the rest of my stay but i check out tomorrow didn't get a chance to work out but overall i'm having a great time so yeah i'll catch you guys later whoo your girl is tired Today was amazing. I had a great day. Just got back in the telly from my little girls' night, dinner, hookah egg azusa. Um, I came back in the telly and I shot the content that I didn't get in the beginning because I was running late, as you guys know. And yeah, um, today was two, 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 two. Um, and everybody on social media was just talking about how today it was just the day to manifest everything and going back to my original ideology about manifestation i think it's something that you have to practice and make a part of your life i don't think that you just wake up on 
a special day and you take this day to do all this stuff and then things happen. I think it's active practice every day. Um, and so today for me was a regular day, but um, because I made intentional about my self care, you know, I was I was very productive or like this trip was more so about like relaxation flow and productivity, productivity, however you say it. I was productive. I did what I had to do. And I just put myself first. Overall, my vacation, staycation, no vacation, five out of five stars. I definitely recommend for the ladies. This is something that you should probably do like maybe two or three times a year, even if it's just for a night. I think you should just treat yourself and be comprised and just do whatever the fuck it is that you want to do. Bottom line. Um... I'm going to end my night off with journaling and just reflection and my gratitude and my thankfulness to God is on a thousand. I live a great life. I cannot complain. I'm so, so, so blessed. So many things that could have gone wrong that didn't go wrong. And I'm just so thankful that God and the universe are always showing me that he has my back. And so this was much needed. Um, I was very intentional about it. So I really can't complain. Like I said, nothing's perfect in life, but I can actively say my progress from January till now in these two short months in 2022, um, I've seen my growth because I'm just, I've been super intentional, holding myself accountable about the things that I want to do. So pat to myself on the back, period. Also the staff at George Truly before I go. The staff, amazing. Vibes, amazing. Energy, amazing. Everyone's great here. So I like it a lot. I, I wish I could stay for free, but I can't. Back to the real world we go. Okay, period. Good night, you guys. See you tomorrow. Period. Thanks, guys. Good morning, guys. Uh, it's time to get ready to check out. It's 11.30. I did roll over at 9.30, like I said I was going to do it. Went back to sleep to enjoy my last time in this comfortable ass king-size bed. So I have 30 minutes to get myself together to go check out. I'm on to shower, pack, you know, get decent. Um, I'm online for work right now. So I'm just trying to finish up some stuff I have to do before my call at 12. So yes, officially back to the real world. I didn't get a chance to journal because I was so tired after um, my content creation. But my plan is before I actually leave the hotel, I'm still going to sit down and write for at least 20 minutes just to clear my mind before I go back into my real life. Um... Woke up a little congested, my sinuses, if I sound a little nasally. Um, DC has bipolar weather. Like one day it's 60 degrees, the next day it's 35. The next day it's snowing. You really don't know what you're going to get. So um, the weather just being like a bipolar girlfriend is just has my shit all over the place. So my other camera... As I was saying, my memory card was full, so I had to swap out my memory card. But yes, I'm packing. It's now 12 o'clock. I have a fucking work call I'm about to hop on, and I'm about to pack and get dressed and get the fuck out of this room, okay? All right. <laughs>
Okay, 12.05, meeting is now adjourned. And now I will turn it to Speedy Gonzalez. I'm all dressed and packed. So I'm about to go check out and have breakfast before I head home. Oh, I'm so sad to be leaving. I wish this was my real life, but more staycations to come, period. Oh, friend, look at who we have here. Okay, so somebody else is hip to yours truly. You come here often? I can get my barbers over here, so I'll come here and get coffee or a cocktail. Period. Okay, yes. I love to see it. Now, I know you special if you know about this space, because every time I say, oh, I met yours truly, they like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, we go to Costa's up the street a lot. Uh-huh. So oh, yeah. Okay, period. All right, yes. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? That's, how you doing? Our, that's our friend. Well, you are not getting this, um, this forehead one. It's okay. What's going on, man? Nothing much. I um did a little staycation here at the hotel. Oh, you did? Yes, you I did. I did. All right, good, good, good. You guys good. got the vibes. Well, my favorite era is the 70s. Okay. So. so I like the old coffee shop that was in here better than this baby. I you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we were saying that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's probably my constructive criticism. So yesterday, oh, I like the name Call Your Mom. Call Your Mother. Uh, call Your Mom. Oh, call Your Mom. Is that cool? Is a store? No. So they have an actual, like, shop in Georgetown. It's real cute, too, but it's it's a real weird concept. Because you can't just go in there and order. You have to order in advance. Okay. Oh, really? I and LA is like that. I don't know if it's COVID or what, but LA is like that. But they have um, a great bagel. But I was just, I was just, they have a I was telling him that uh -huh. the bagel be too, like they lay it on too thick. Like it's too much, it's too uh, much. It's hefty. It's he hefty. Hefty is the he's, right word. He's, he's well, sleeping you know, by the time. Black folk don't normally eat a bagel as a meal. That's probably. <laughs> yeah, and that's why I said well, I'm going to Tate Lattes over there. Oh yeah, it's out there across the street. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go there. Okay, guys, so like I said, run into my friend Phil in the, in the hotel. So this is how I know we're genuinely friends because we like the same shit. And you like, we've never talked about uh, like hotels and places to go. So I just came to sit in on his barber experience. And we're talking about the golden era of the 70s and all the artwork and pop up shops that happened here. Let me take my mask off because why I have my mask off to talk to y'all? Okay. But here we are, 2022, soaking in all the vibes. Right. On this side. All the vibes. So do you like working here? Um, yes, I do. How y'all doing? My name is Sunny. Uh, hey Sunny! Welcome to Mini Skirts World. Okay, Mini Skirts. Um, I do, I enjoy it. Um I enjoy connecting with people. You know, I enjoy having hotel guests and the community really get an understanding and a good feel of kind of the place that we wanted to create in this little 250, you know, uh, square feet spot. And essentially, yeah. it's a sanctuary of self-care. Sanctuary of self-care. Mm -hmm. That may be the title of this episode. Mm -hmm. Look at God. Um, it's so funny because... I told myself this year, I was it was more about self-care and flow and alignment. Yeah, so like yeah, not yeah. forcing things, but allowing things to just be and you know, and appreciate that. Absolutely. Um, and so again, just even being here, I can tell everybody has a certain type of vibe and aura. And yeah. And I actually came here because my CPA did uh -huh. a staycation here. Oh, and I was like, oh, we had dinner at okay. Mercy Me. Okay. So I was like, girl, where's that place you stay? Like, I want to go back there. So. Uh -huh. 
definitely a word of mouth thing. I love sure. that. Yep, yeah, that's how a lot of it moves. Um, this space, the concept of barbershops and hotels, is actually rich in black history. Um, and shoe shining too. And shoe shining as well. Yep. Yeah. I know it looks fine. We, we take it. We take it. What was once uh, taken away, kind of give it a new, a whole new look. A new twist. Right. Well, Sunny, I'm gonna definitely plug you in. Make sure I get your Instagram and socials, and I now I have a friend I can come back and visit. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Yeah. I'm also gonna go saute lattes in a minute, you guys. Hey guys, so now to finish out my staycation, my self-care sanctuary vibes. I'm gonna have brunch at Tate's, Tate, I call it Tate Latte, but Tate's by DuPont Circle, me and Phil. Okay, he already ate his bagel, but he's gonna watch me eat breakfast and maybe he'll have a coffee or something. But yes, to finish out, we're gonna do Tate's and then I'm also going back to reality. Same thing. Super nice outside. Two black girls and the rest of you. The food is fucking delicious. I smashed it. I meant to show y'all half of it. How was your um your carrot cake? Gone. It's about to be gone. You said not too sweet, but just right. It does have a good amount of spice. And I'm surprised that they put golden raisins in it because nobody ever bakes with golden raisins. And then how was your tate latte? You had sesame in it? Yeah, but it, you, don't, you don't taste it. It tastes like honey. Okay. So I got the caramel latte with almond milk. Y'all know me. Pretty tasty. It's a beautiful day in the city. We have a little birdie in here. Where's the bird? Oh, there he goes. Um, to really describe the weather in DC is very bipolar. So I think we should all enjoy um, the fucking vibes today and do whatever it is the fuck you want to do before it's 40 degrees again. Tomorrow. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> okay, period. Hey guys, so thank you so, 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 so much for tuning in to my self-care vlog. I just want to say yours truly is like the self-care sanctuary in the city. So if you have not checked it out, it's very modern, very 70s and simplistic, great vibes, people of color, you know, all types of people, it's a belt to find, okay? So you're sure to come here and connect with some amazing people, relax, take care of yourself, and fucking sleep in an amazing platinum, premium king size bed, okay, period. So this will be the first of many self-care vlogs to come. If you have any recommendations on staycation spots, in the Washington DC, Metropolitan, Maryland, VA area, let me know. It's your girl, Mini Skirt Bird. I catch you next time. Bye.